College commencements are supposed to be a celebration of achievement, of course. Students get their diplomas, and most colleges bring in some famous person to lend a little prestige to the whole affair. That's the idea, anyway. But now commencements are just another excuse for political grandstanding, a lot of it, as the vice president and the education secretary learned this spring. Not the warmest of welcomes for Vice President Mike Pence at the University of Notre Dame as dozens of seniors walk out of their own graduation ceremony during his keynote address today. No one in this country is above the law, and we need a justice department, not an obstruction of justice department. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos gave the commencement speech today at historically black Bethune-Cookman University in Florida. There were boos and heckling throughout that ceremony. As I said, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be with you today. How did commencements become just another political venue? Is any part of American life not a political venue these days? Michael Loftus is a comedian, and he joins us tonight with his insights. Michael, thanks for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm here in the, uh, the Los Angeles Republican satellite bunker. It's weird. <laughs> I bet it is weird. You've got to answer a series of questions about Ronald Reagan before you get in. <laughs> so, so how would you feel if you were graduating from college and some creepy, mediocre politician shows up and starts giving a floor speech? I, I tell you, I think we should get away, just disregard commencement speeches all, all together. It has become a joke. It's all political this. But a commencement speech, uh, the person gets up there and they give you, here's some uh, advice on how to carry on with the rest of your life. Right. Isn't that what you were supposed to be learning the last four years? Isn't that what you paid all that money for? Well, that's a good point. If you haven't figured it out by that point, maybe it's a little late. It is. It is. And, and I tell you, just, just the reaction. I love that those kids uh, walked out of Mike Pence's. That's great. Those are more kids that won't be com uh, competing with my kids for jobs. Like, walk directly out. You're unprepared for reality. Go directly across the street to your new job where you can be proud. I walked out of Mike Pence. Oh, that's great. That's very brave. Now, when the burger comes out of here, you're going to put some cheese on it and then just put it right there on the bun. You're good to go. It does ease the pressure on the job market at the higher end. That's, uh, that's for certain. Why? But, I mean, it does kind of raise the question, like, is there any place you can go in America where well, you're not bombarded by somebody else's politics? You can't flip on ESPN to watch a game without getting a lecture about something, and you can't go to a you commencement can't. address. No, I, I think you just have to you just have to carry on. And, and I'm, I do. I have two kids, and I'm just going to keep them out of college. Uh, because it's obviously not preparing anyone for the future. The one thing it's supposed to do, the whole thing's like this big, beautiful, uh, almost like a government-run mafia scam. They're like, hey, you need college, kid. You need college. Here's a, I'm going to give you a loan. You can go to college. And then they come out of this, like, giant four-year summer camp where they're totally mentally reprogrammed, not prepared for the future, and they're in a mountain of debt. It's like a reverse game show. Hey, Johnny, show him what he owes. <laughs> That is actually such a good point. Then why, I mean, what's, what is the point? And, and why perpetuate what is so obviously a scam? I, it'll, it'll go away. That's the great thing about capitalism. I tell you what, I'm trying to talk my, bo both of my kids into being welders. That's like yeah. <laughs> something they, they can learn with. But like, why would you in incur this giant mountain of debt to like, oh, I, I've got, uh, you know, my degree in, uh, uh, gender fluid squirrel poetry. Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to rule the world with that? And they don't want to hear from reality. So I no. just think, like, we just have to kind of circle our wagons and ride out this madness. That's because true. obviously, uh, facts don't matter. The truth doesn't matter. And, and if anything, I would tell these kids before going to college, why don't you go on a road trip? Go spend a year in Venezuela. Go spend right. a year in Venezuela where uh, you can find a safe space while you're trying to, you know, dig a uh, banana peel out of the garbage so you can eat. Sounds great. And then come than, back, and we'll talk about safe spaces. So what did you make of Betsy DeVos <laughs> getting booed, the education secretary? I tell you what, why she took that gig, I don't know. I Betsy needs a new agent. Here's, here's where you succeed. Like, like Will Ferrell sings. Uh, you, you know, Hillary Clinton recently just told people what they want to hear. That's all you can do. Betsy DeVos, she just held up a giant check to show how much money she made, popped some champagne and walked, walked out, and they just let some Jay-Z music play. She just mic drops. She just walks out like a boss.
I love the Hillary Clinton one. That was great the other day. I don't know if you saw that. No, I missed it. She's like, I've been Wellesley. drinking Chardonnay and reorganizing my closets. I bet she was reorganizing her closet. This skeleton goes here. That one goes there. Hey, Bill, remember my plan for socialized medicine? It's in this box. I'd like to picture that happening in the post-presidential bedroom in Chappaqua. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Did you go to college? I did. I went to the, the Ohio State University. Did it improve I paid you? for it. Uh, no. I found it to be a giant waste. Uh, I, it, nothing happened fast enough. I left, I left after two years. I was paying the bills, and, and I'm like, you know what? I, I got to go. So I just handed a guy uh, 10000 bucks. He gave me a commencement speech, and I was on my way. <laughs> you're, you're a smart man. <laughs> Michael Loftus, thanks for joining us. Tonight. There you go. I graduated myself. <laughs> Good for you. I did the same.